from time to time you might get a check engine light in your car and if you're a duty selfer having an obd2 scanner will be an asset you can take your car to a o'reilly or an AutoZone to have it scanned and they can tell you what the problem is but there are many benefits of having your own tool you can scan whatever you want and you don't need the expensive scanner that for 500 or a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars like the dealer level one you can buy a simple bluetooth scanner and use your phone with an application to scan your car let's go inside the car and see what we have what's So this is the OBD2 scanner that I purchased on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below. It's not very small as you can see the size in my hand. So the pin for the OB2 scanner is right here. So you insert with this notch facing the front of the car. And once you keep push it right in, it's installed. You can have it always installed in a car, but due to the size of this one, as you can see, it kind of pushing down right there. I don't want my foot to bump it and damage it, so I don't keep it running in the car. But if you happen to have a smaller type, you can have it always installed in the car. You can monitor the performance of the car, even while driving. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is to have your Bluetooth on. For the OBD2 scanner to work, you will need to install the app on your phone. You need to go in the Play Store or your Apple Store. The name of the app is Torque. So there's a free version you can use, which is Lite. You can scan your car with that and also erase code with the free version. Because they are doing so much, I supported them by buying the paid version. It didn't cost much. I think I paid less than $5 and you'll have it for life. So here is the app open up. But when you first install the app, it's going to ask you to create a profile. And that's what I did. You just put in your vehicle information, your vehicle type. You can upload a picture of it. You can edit and put in information based on what you're getting now. It's indicating right here. It's trying to pair. Right now it's currently paired. And this is what you use to check your file codes. It has different features that are more advanced. I don't use them. But what we're really interested in is the fault code feature. So one important thing to note, never try to clear a fault code while the car is running. That might be very dangerous for your computer. You can operate your scan tool by monitoring the performance of the car while the car is running, but never attempt to clear a code while the car is running. So I'm just gonna press the power button twice to power up the car. I need maintenance very soon. And as you can see, the car is powered up. And this is how you want to have the car when you're clearing a fault code. Right now, I do not have a code on this car for demonstration, but I'm gonna put a link in the description below of two check engine light issues that I had, and I solved them both. One was a mass airflow sensor, and the other was a camshaft position sensor. I'm going to put a link in the description below guys. So you select the search option and you can see the percentage moving. If you had a code, it would have found it already, but I'll wait until it reach a hundred percent. If you happen to have a code, the app is pretty cool. It provides link to information that can help you to solve those problems. And as I can see, I have zero fault at the moment, but if you had a code, you can press the option button right here to clear code. So this is the option to clear fault. It will give you a warning message that you should perform this action only after you solve the problem. And then you press OK. But I, but I do not have a code, so I'm not going to clear any code. It is simple and very easy to use, and I really recommend it. You can play around with the different features that you have here. It has a GPS feature. It can show you exactly where you are. It has some pretty cool feature, guys. You can actually run some tests using the app as well. And as I can see, it ran these tests and all these tests are okay. 
you might see some option that failed but it could be because you do not have those sensors in your car it's giving you the sensors and some information on the sensors i'm not advanced in car electronics so i do not know what these numbers mean but all i know is that it's okay if you find this video interesting please give a like and subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this please hit the notification bell see you on the next one guys